And to think I let you guys into my home and you eat and you eat my food and you disrespect me in my home. And the least you can do is, you know, eat the whole chicken, not just the skin. You standing there judging us with a Hugh Hefner robe on? What are you trying to prove? I just don't want to see good food go to waste. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, you're just like my father. Eat everything on your plate. Food doesn't grow on trees. Oh, come on now. Once a gift is given, one can do whatever they want with their gift, even if they don't want to eat it all. You know, you've really opened my eyes. I'm really sorry about... It's okay. She just needs to lie down. and Everything. (laughs) Why do you yell at me? He's just stressed out. He's the host. What do you expect? This isn't the party I wanted. In fact, this is not much of a party after all. You can leave if you want to. No need to stick around for this awkwardness. I'm I'm just going to go and turn in and read a nice book. Ooh, War and Peace. I hope my next party will be better than this. Maybe I'll have rotisserie chicken instead of... No, oh, never mind. I got a good book. You know, I've never actually read War and Peace. I just like to have it in the bookshelf to make people think I'm cultured and whatnot. So, yeah, here, check out this uh, insert. War and Peace kind of covers the uh, Napoleon War as it invaded Russia in 1812. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and this is all you really need to know about this particular book before, you know, to sound somewhat cultured. War and Peace kind of feels like the kind of book that people say they read, but they didn't really need to read, but still understand the concept of what they read. Because, you know, once you uh, understand what the book's about, you kind of get the gist of it. And in this acknowledgement, it says... All in all, you can really basically read anything about the history of Napoleon and get the gist of war and peace, so don't bother reading this book. After all, it is just a really important book in history, but it's also more of a fiction about something realistic. Oh, you mean like uh, From Here to Eternity and Captain America during World War II? Is that kind of what you mean by, you know, uh, fictionalizing history and whatnot? Are you talking about Hemingway? Is that like a Hemingway? That's the guy who wrote the acknowledgement. Well, Hemingway was the master of shade, after all. Was Hemingway just a critic in the end? Well, we all become the things we fear the most, and uh, Hemingway was not shy of becoming a critic, just like those who'd criticize him. Did you know he punched a guy? Oh yeah, his name was Stephen Wallace. He got a chance to get revenge on Hemingway, but then he broke his hand on his jaw. Now that's a party. Yeah, that's very interesting. I'm going to learn to say Tolstoy five times real fast. Please excuse me. Tolstoy, 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 Tolstoy.